Okay, here is a little house with a roof on it. So uh, let me. Uh, It's all done in 3D space. I got the uh, camera off because I don't like the way it distorts. Distorts. Uh, let's see if I, uh, I could go here and turn this back on, and you can see the house with a roof on it. But of course, you'll have to do uh, your layer ordering and all that to make it work right. But I'm sure you know how to do that. So. Uh, I just use a grid uh, set at 20, and I you can just I'll just make a box, and I'd kind of like to make it uniform. Let's go one, two, three. Let's go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's go four by four, four on each side. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go. Go eight by twelve. See one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe one more over. Okay, and uh, what I always do is before you do anything, make a group, and then take your vector layer and just you know duplicate it as many times as you need. It saves all that layer scaling mistakes, and they're almost impossible to fix. And so the first one, uh, you can label it uh, like front, uh, I don't know, right side, left side, uh, back, uh, left roof, right roof. Okay, that's good. Okay. Uh, just uh, front. You don't need to move it. Right side, which would be on left. You know, it's the right side of the house. Left side, move over here. Back, you just do that Z. Uh, left roof, right roof. Okay, uh, and then I would right side I put this the uh, the set origin right on that edge left side on that edge back you don't need it right, left side set the origin right on the bottom left corner you, know, you can get in there and get real tight get close okay. right side Okay, and then uh, right side, you just so minus 90, left side 90, back would be with your Z. Okay, same thing, uh, 90. Okay, but then you're going to have to uh, change the uh, angle of this. Oops, not that. Excuse me. Shear. Z. Uh, let's try 75. Right. Same thing. Uh, y rotation minus 90. And your shear. Z. Uh, 75 just works. Because of the way that I had the grid set up, you know, it's gonna you're gonna have to fiddle with the numbers, and that's basically how I do. Would put a roof on a house, and of course you can, you know, overhang the roof down, and you know, have it come over here more, like smooth this, you know, because of course the roof is gonna overhang some, you know, stuff like that. Okay, there you go. 
And of course, don't forget you'll have to do layer ordering to get to all this walls that are not, they're popping in out of order and all that. Okay.